Today, we're gonna be going over the North Mountain soft rolling tonu cover. All right, so welcome to the channel. This is gonna be one of many, one of many episodes, one of many sh videos, all right? So if you haven't already, this is my 07 Silverado, if you haven't already. And it's a short bed. I got this tonu cover here from North Mountain. Ordered it uh, on Amazon. I'll leave the link down below. And so basically, I ordered this one. It's one that actually is supposed to sit up on the bed rail and not hang over. And I did that because I have this specially fitted toolbox to lay underneath it. I'm not a big fan of when they have toolboxes raised, you know, five, six inches above the bed, and then you can't have any cover or whatever, and then it just looks like a big blocky toolbox. This tonu cover here should cover it all, okay? So we're gonna open this up. It should be a pretty simple install. It's just a tonu cover. It should just be like some clips or something, but that's what we're gonna get into, all right? Ladies, gentlemen, I don't know. That looks like it's too big. I made the install probably take a little longer than needed to, just because at first, when I put it together, it didn't look like it was gonna line up right away, but it lined up pretty good. Again, this is the North Mountain. Uh, in the reviews, I did see how the only complaints were about the latch. People having trouble with the latch. Now, I understand uh, that comes off, rolls up, whatever, and this, even with the clamps they give, has a little bit of play, and with the complaints on the North Mountain Tonu cover, they, they say people have trouble locking it in. Now, my very first time, look, even right then, you could see it just squeezes in a little bit like it doesn't catch that's what people apparently were complaining about with these and you gotta close them before you can close your tailgate because if your tailgate is up there isn't going to be any See, see right there you just gotta push a little you're not gonna be able to close the cover but for the price locked locked for the price of this guy it really ain't all that bad you know there's there's tonu covers that are up in the thousands, thousand dollar range. 
this. I want to say it was around like 200 bucks. So if you're on a little budget and you want a nice tonneau cover, there you go. Uh, we're going to see if we get any kind of mile per gallon difference with this. I do have some quite a bit of driving I have to do. So some majority of it's going to be on the highway. Uh, but the fit is nice. Like I said, at first I was kind of concerned because it seemed a little tight up here. But as soon as I got the clamps on and clamped it all in, it seemed like it was wide up here and that it kind of like coned out in the back. Well, no, 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 opposite. I thought it was too wide back here. But as I put the clamps on, it started to cone out more and tighten the rails in. And surprisingly, if I wasn't thinking so hard about it, and if I would have just, you got a Phillips or flathead, you screw the top rail up here to the side rails, you got one screw, one screw. As soon as that's on, you got three bed rails or three clamps for the bed rails. As soon as you clip those guys on, this install is pretty much done. There wasn't, it, it actually, the clamps pulled it right into place. Uh, I didn't measure anything. The instructions to talk about right here on the latch to measure it and make sure it's the exact distance for the the locking mechanism because that's what people complain about people are just they don't they're not they're not patient okay for me to just make sure i'm lining the locks up when i close it i'm fine with that that's not not, not a big deal at all but yeah that's the north mountain tonneau cover right there i always love tonneau covers it always makes a world of difference so if you guys don't know already, this is the first video of this channel. I've made some other automotive videos on my shipping, my Merchant Marine channel. Uh, that one's Northwest Sailor. I'm now branching off and making a dedicated automotive channel. This is the first video. If you're interested in the maritime industry, go check out Northwest Sailor. Uh, but soon to come with this, we have my McGoy 7 to 9 lift coming along with some wheels, okay? So that's gonna be within the next two weeks. I also have, I'm gonna be doing some vinyl wrap. This up here was a, a test run. Be vinyl wrap in the front. You know, I'm a baller on a budget. I can't, I can't go around paint matching everything on the truck. So we're gonna be vinyl wrapping that up there. Since some of you don't know the truck, uh, I got the CT, CTS-2 Edge Evolution programmer, just pre-tuned, whatever. I got a 2016 bumper that I put on last year because my old lady's sister decided she wanted to rear-end me. And after she rear-ended me, I needed a new bumper. So why not retrofit the 2016 onto it? Uh, besides that, window tent. Uh, I'm going to be removing the molding. That'll be in the next video, probably. If you guys are interested to see this uh, little truck build that I'm going to do with this guy, hit that subscribe button. Uh, next up, also, this is a new toy. This little blazer. I got a couple things I got to do between these two right here. So, if you want to see more content on those, on her... And on the CTS, right there, hit that subscribe button. Uh, these aren't going to be, this is going to be a little different at first. Once I, I got to figure this, this new channel out, all right? But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll give you guys a follow-up review on the North Mountain uh, Tanu cover. Install was super easy. For the price, it's right. I'll leave the link down below for you guys. And I'll see you in the next video, all right? I'm out.